Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is another video where we're going to take a look at settings in Windows 10. Well, in this video we'll take a look in the notifications area into settings and to system and we will go down to projecting to this PC option. Now some computers don't have this option in this list. It depends on your version of Windows 10 and also on the type of computer you've got. On the right side you have projecting to this PC. Now what does that mean? That simply means that for example if you use a Windows Phone, an Xbox um, or another PC you can actually use it and send the screen here and control it totally here by projecting to this computer. So here it says project your Windows Phone or PC to the screen and use its keyboard, mouse and other devices as if that PC was your PC. Now you need to be in the same local network so it means that you have to be on your Wi-Fi network or better yet because it does demand a lot a connected network inside your home or business. Another drawback about this option is it requires specific hardware for this to work. For example, I don't have it, so if I click, uh, for example, everywhere on secure networks, it tells me this device might not might have trouble displaying your content because its hardware wasn't specifically designed for wireless projection. And if I turn this on, it never does work with my other PCs. So it depends on your machine, not all machines, but it's interesting to know that this option does exist so check it out if you are looking for a way to for example use a PC in another room on your main PC uh, you can actually do this even use Windows Phone if you have a Windows Phone it works the options you've got is always off that means this option isn't working everywhere that means as long as you are on, on a network it's gonna work of course you gotta be in the same network and everywhere on secure networks that means everywhere where the network will be secure because yeah this option will work if you go to a uh, public Wi-Fi that's not secure with everywhere it's not necessarily what you want so at least available everywhere on secu secure networks that makes it much more secure of course if you don't plan on using it put it always off then you have another option which is um, ask to project to this PC and you have two options here. Every time a connection is required, um, I would probably keep it like that because it enables more security. You have to say yes for that to work. Uh, or first time only means first time it's going to ask you do you want to project, then it's not going to ask you and it's just going to do it. So uh, for more security I think every time a connection is requested is the best option here. Then you've got, of course, require pin for pairing. That means you will need to have a pin. That's another added security. If you're not really sure about this option, you want to make sure that it's secure, you can actually turn it on and have a pin that you have to enter for this to work. And of course, people that don't have the pin will not be able to project. Then you've got this PC can only be discovered for projection when it is plugged in. Because it is a laptop, this option is important. You don't necessarily want that option to work when you're not plugged in on your laptop computer or tablet because it might, you know, just uh, draw the battery to zero. So this option makes sure that it is only when your laptop or tablet is plugged in, for example. Then you have the name of the PC, <coughs> which will appear when you try to project. So if you try to project from another computer, in my case it would say oh you want to project to Gilles main PC and of course rename your PC is available in order for you to change the name because by default uh, Windows gives a cryptic um, you know random character type um, name to your PC which is not necessarily cool so you are able to rename it if you want so another option, hope you enjoy our series on checking out the settings in Windows 10. If you do, please subscribe to our channel. You'll know when new videos are online, give us thumbs up. 
And if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Um, if you have a problem, if you have a video that you'd like me to you know, post, let us know also. We're here for that, and thank you for watching.